identity theft is the number one complaint nationally received by the Federal Trade, Trade Commission, the agency that oversees most federal consumer protection efforts. The Iowa Attorney General's Office does not receive an enormous number of complaints alleging identity theft in the context of traffic offenses committed using another's identity, but they receive enough of them annually, about 20 to 25 per year, to justify changing Iowa law in the manner of this bill. Under the bill, the DOT can investigate victims' claims of convictions due to mistaken identity and can approve or deny the claim. If the claim is approved by the DOT and if the county attorney in the county where the conviction occurs indicates no resistance, then upon receiving an application for post-conviction relief, the court may grant a motion for summary disposition of any convictions. So in layman's term, this bill aims to help victim of identity theft by allowing the DOT to start the investigation process. But the claim still has to go through courts. Mr. President, if there are no questions, I move the bill. This is there a discussion? The chair recognizes Senator from Bremer, Senator Hackroth. Thank you, Mr. President. Would the senator yield, please? Yes. Senator, I'm, I tried to read through this, and I'm a little confused. Wouldn't you say that identity theft could happen just about anywhere in the state? Yes. Okay, I look at page 1, line 26, and it indicates, I guess as I read it, that you're expecting identity theft to only take place on highways and none of our gravel roads that we have up in northeast Iowa. We've got a lot of gravel roads where I think identity theft could take place. But could you help me understand why we're not covering gravel roads? Uh, because I think that's the law, and this, is, this bill was brought to us by DOT. So um, they are, they, it's according to the code. So the DOT doesn't enforce the laws on the gravel roads? Oh, they do, but this is according to the code. It, it covers both highways and byways. So should we have an amendment that would add highways and gravel roads, do you think? No, I think this covers all of Iowa. Okay. All right. I hope so, because I'm a little concerned when I go driving home and I take some of my back routes, and if I get my identity theft taken on a gravel road, I want to make sure this is covered. No, this okay. makes sure that it doesn't matter where you are driving. Okay. You will be covered. All right. Thank you. Well, the chair recognizes Senator from Blackhawk, Senator Danielson. Thank you, Mr. President. Would my distinguished would, would my distinguished colleague from Lynn County yield? Sure. Thank you, uh, Senator Danikar, for yielding. Now, I'm on page five. Okay. Beginning with line nine through fourteen. Okay. In proceedings commenced under section 8822.3a, the court may grant a motion by the applicant for summary disposition of the application for any conviction at the respective county attorney whew, in the county where the conviction approved for removal occurred affirmatively indicates the state has no resistance to the application. Oh my goodness, I just about passed out saying that paragraph. It's okay. In, 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 <laughs> In layman's terms, yeah, because I believe you use layman's terms in your opening remarks. No, in well, layman's in, terms, that could you tell me what that means? That means if um, if somebody goes to DOT and says that my license, my driver's license, was stolen, and um, they start the process, and the courts look into it, and when they find that. Yes, there was a theft. They say, okay. And, and how many lawyers will it take to sort that out with well, the DOT? Not none, I think. They should have to go through courts because it's DOT is doing the, starting the process. It still has to go through courts. So what you're telling me is this is common sense legislation yes. that is written in plain language that the rest of us can understand and we'll be able to do it. Yes. 
Thank you, Senator Dandekar. Welcome I'll to the Iowa Senate. Thank you. The chair recognizes the senator from Polk, Senator Noble. Thank you, Mr. President. Would Senator Danikar yield, please? Sure. I, I thought after giving freshman dinner, you all will be kind to me today. <laughs> well, I appreciate the dinner. The uh, question I had, though, from the previous occupation that I had and profession I had, in all those years, I don't know what the definition of a byway is. Could you explain that to me? I think that's... What happens is once in a while I go back to my British English and I say highways and byways. So that's a British English and that means gravel roads. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Seeing no further discussion, the chair returns to Senator from Lynn for closing remarks. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the bill. The Senator from Lynn moves. Senate file 356 be read the last time placed on its passage. Those in favor of the motion say aye. aye. Opposed say no. The motion prevails. Secretary will read. The Senate file 356 by Committee on Transportation, a bill for an act relating to the Department of Transportation and Administrative Procedures by establishing a procedure to remove a conviction relating to the operation of a motor vehicle from a driving record based on identity theft and requiring verification of status in regards to the driver's license of a foreign national. The Senator from Lynn moves the reading be considered the last reading of the bill. Those in favor of the motion say aye. Opposed say no. The motion prevails. Is the title agreed to? The title is agreed to. The question now is, shall the bill pass? Those in favor of the passage of Senate File 356 will vote aye. Those opposed will vote no. The secretary will receive your votes. Senator Zahn votes aye. Senator Zahn votes no. Senator Hartsuch votes aye. Senator Bolcom votes aye. Senator Dotsler votes aye. As every senator voted, every senator has voted. The secretary will close the voting system. The secretary will lock the voting system and record your vote. The Senate will pay attention to the result of the roll call. Those voting aye, 50, no, zero. The bill having received a constitutional majority is declared to pass the Senate, and the title was agreed to. We'll now call up Senate File 338 with Senator from Polk, Senator Dearden.